Alright, kia ora everybody and welcome back to another video. Half past five and we're still sitting on about 28, 29 degrees. This is hot, probably all over the whole country, so if you're uh, struggling with the old heat this summer, join the club because we all feel like it. And it's pretty warm, so we're going to be doing another asbestosol rotisserie video for you guys today. We're going to be putting some sausages on there. We've got some pork and fennel sausages. We're just going to run the old skewers through the sausage. And we're also going to be cooking up a beef brisket. But I managed to find these biscuit pieces here. Here's our brisket. And then we're going to go up there and light the charcoals. I'm actually going to add a bit of this to it too. Might as well use it up. We've used this here on our lamb. The old bray. Smoky barbecue. Old too much and we'll just let that soak in there for the next half an hour or so while we're waiting for our charcoals to heat up so I've never had brisket before like this so we'll try it out see what it's like as you know the price of meat is pretty expensive in the shop we've got some nice fatty nice fatty brisket there so Need a bit of fat on the old meat when you're doing the old barbecue food. Better soul. We're using this again. Second time. Battery operated. Double A batteries. And we're trying something different today. We're going to be cooking up our sausages and some steak. I'm going to try and fit them all onto here and make sure that they'll fit properly. Alright, let's go. So I think I'll put on the, I don't know what to put on first, the steak. So you just fold it over like that, see? And then it can go on there. It's probably good idea to do it on the bench or something. Because I'm filming for YouTube. I'm going to do it just like that. But you don't want to be poking your fingers into the meat. How does that look? Look alright. I'm still trying to figure out how to, the best way to do this. Just don't stab yourself in the fingers. There you go. That looks better. And I think I might put a sausage on the sausage brisket sausage. As you guys know, I like eating sausages. So how does that look? It looks pretty good. I might actually put two on. Yep. And put another steak on. Just folded it over. And then we can just plonk it on like that. Oh, here we are, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Ooh. Wow, check that out. Probably a first for YouTube, this one here. Check that out. I might. Yeah, it looks good. I think we're going to fit it all on. Oh, yeah, that fits well. Alright, I mean, it's getting heavy. Enough room for one more piece of meat here.
right, so there you go, our meat's on there, and uh, I'm just sort of wondering whether or not I should put the charcoals in the middle, and like I do with the roast lamb, and cook the meat over the charcoals, or is it better to do it separate baskets like I am now? We're getting quite hungry, so I'm actually hoping also that this brisket's going to be tender. More tender if I cook it long and slow like this. As I did see a, I did see a bit of sinew on that uh, meat, which I should have actually taken off. I didn't notice that sinew until I put it onto the skewers. So there's a bit of sinew there. It's, would have been better off coming off, but uh, this is going to take quite a long time. This method, and so I might just maybe do half and half, half on baskets and then with the charcoals to the middle and we'll just cook over the charcoals and we'll get some smoke up into that meat there it is there here comes that fat check that fat just going around there going under 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 there goes that fat and the other fat's coming up on the other side there so you know we're actually winning here either way so we might even just yeah i think we'll leave it this way for about half an hour and then we're gonna just going to turn our charcoals into the middle of the Weber and uh, we're going to cook over the charcoals for the last half an hour or until it's cooked. It hasn't been half an hour yet but I'm going to put the charcoals in the middle because I want to see some of that the juice that's dripping off into the Weber to drip onto the charcoals to give us that lovely smoky flavour so I finally sorted that out. Oh, there you go, now we're talking, we've got our meat now over our charcoals, way better. We're going to get some nice smokiness coming from those charcoals soon. Yeah, it's way better. What do you guys think about that? Do you think it's better the other way? Probably better for a long and slow, but this is my second attempt with the asbestos sole. And that roast lamb was delicious. And it's going to be nice too, check that out. Right, so there you go, that looks way better. Like that. Ooh, we're getting some good brownness on those sausages. And we're getting some nice chops of fat. Oh yeah, see just like that? That's what you want, see that lovely smoky flavour all over the meat. Oh yeah, man that looks delicious, ooh, check that out. Mmm, yeah, ooh man baby, smell that fat. Crazy stuff happening here tonight my friends, crazy stuff tonight. So stay tuned for the end and we'll see what happens. We might get some very, very nice flavours from that. Erin made a nice coleslaw tonight. We got some, uh, oh yeah, that's what you want to hear. Back to you guys soon. Uh, rice bran oil, some, some garlic out of my garden, and a little bit of that seasoning that's on the rub. Go. I think that uh, adding that oil seemed to have done the old trick on the old smoking on the old meat. If you guys could smell that right now, it's just like hoo -hoo, tantalizing. Oh, yeah. 
Is it making you guys hungry? So as you can see, I've got the the nice camera out today filming this. So you get some nice close-ups for you guys off that meat just just turning around and oh, oh, oh check out those sausages over there in the middle there. It's enjoying being there, aren't they? They are enjoying being in the middle there. Ooh, my new's flying around. Ooh, look at that fat there, that's just like, oh, check that out, that's bubbling away. Ooh, who likes rendered fat? It's a bit of shot right there, check out that fat. It's just bubbling away, spinning around there, cooking for us. Ooh, yeah, boy, that smells nice. Let me know in the comments, guys, if, uh, if you enjoyed this sort of video where I talk to the microphone in my deep voice and have my hands going like that in front of the food. Yeah, let me know if this actually uh, makes you hungry, This these nice close-up videos. No fish fingers tonight, my friends. No fish fingers tonight. Cada día una gracia es esta vida. Cada día me nace nueva melodía. Yo sabía que algún día. So here you guys go, our delicious kai is ready and on cue that bit of smoke on the old charcoals heading back up at the meat there. And it's been uh, just over an hour on the old Weber here and that looks delicious. What do you guys think about that? So we're going to take it inside now because we've got a very hungry family and we can have a bit of a taste test for you guys tonight. Rabbit's walking around, man. What's she up to? Hopefully, it should taste nice. Bon appetito. Also, mm. tomato from the garden, cucumber from Mr. Corby, some biscuit there, and a sausage. 